standing at the edge of the water as long as I can remember, never really knowing why. See the line with some sun sea, it calls me, and no one knows how far I'll go. It's preface with Pacho Man. <laughs> Welcome to our championship edition. We are brought to you by EAS Myoplex Polar Hoka One One Velo Fix, Norma Tech Four Seasons Hualai, where we are hosting our World Championship Edition Emio Power Breather and the 2017 Ironman World Champion and three time repeat world champion, Daniela Reef. How are you? I'm uh, very happy and I'm good, yeah. I'm yes. great to, very glad to be here today with you. So when you see uh, Lucy Charles and Lauren Brandon go off the front, you know, great swims, and you know, obviously they're trying to get you out of your comfort zone, right? They're trying to put pressure on you to go harder on the bike than maybe you want to. What were you, what were you thinking? Well, they succeeded with that. They definitely <laughs> put the pressure on. And um, yeah, they challenged me all day, pretty yes. much. It was... Um, yeah, it was a new situation and they had they did have a fantastic swim they were really strong swimmers and strong bikers too they really had a good bike and it was hard for me to catch up i didn't expect to you know kind of struggle that much to catch up and so i assumed they were just riding fast and i wasn't riding as fast enough to be able to and um yeah when you know when you have a plan and not things don't go like the plan it's uh you have to kind of restructure and rethink and that's what I tried to do I I just um, yeah it kind of put me out of the comfort zone and I had to get a new plan and how I can actually turn around this race because at 160k I was still five minutes back and that was yeah it was challenge uh, it was a challenging race that was the moment 160k 20 uh, 20k left and your five your five it went from five minutes and it gone down a little bit then it went back to five minutes so at that point, you needed to take a chance because you, you didn't want to get off the bike five minutes back. Yeah, actually, I, um, it might have been 140K, actually, um, when I was still five mm. minutes back. So yes. I think at 40K, 40K to go. 40K to yeah, go, that's I, right, um, five minutes behind. Yeah, yep. I was uh, thinking, okay, if I want to win this race, I have to do something now. I have to switch off my computer and start it new and just give it all I have. Um, so so I ignore the power and all the rest of that stuff and just go. Well, I, well, I decided to just think I'm going to do a 40K time trial without any run left. And that's what I did. I gave all I had. I risked to maybe not being able to run anymore. And I just went as hard as I could. I ri rode for my life, to be honest. I was pushing as hard as I've never had. And my feet were burning and everything, everything hurt. And But it was worth the effort. Um, I could really change it around and also I think mentally it it changed changed the whole game because when you start to catch you actually you know you, you get feel this better. you feel better and it's always when you're in pain it's it's easier if you realize you're actually making up t time and I think that was the turning turning point in the race and that's probably where I where I won the race so but it was it was you felt it was imperative that you get in the transition first it, it, why well, it was not so much about getting in transition first, but I just knew I had two girls. I had um, Sarah and Annabelle behind me and yes. on the bike, um, just with me. And, and then I had two girls five minutes ahead. So I knew that position is not going to give me a very good opportunity for a win if I start to run like this. And that's why I wanted to change something. And yeah, I... I uh, I didn't plan to get off the bike first. I just wanted to make up time so I didn't have to catch up five minutes in the run. And it ended up being, I, you know, that I could catch up. And then, yeah, at that position to be able to run out of transition first made me really surprised. I didn't expect that. And that was probably where I got that, you know, excitement and confident boost that I was just certainly in the position again that I can actually win the race. Where and on the bike, I did have a few moments where I was not sure how is this going to end this race. And that was, yeah, it was a roller coaster of emotions. And I think that's what racing is about. You have to dig deep in, some, in certain moments and just try to think positive. And it ended up, um, yeah, being a fantastic race and a fantastic run. And I'm, I'm just, yeah, very, very happy how, um, how the race unfolded yesterday, yeah. 
did your legs feel okay after going that hard that last part of the bike well i mean okay is a <laughs> is a bit over when i jumped off the bike my legs didn't feel okay it was uh, it was very painful um and it took me a little bit to get into it but i yeah i was strong i think the run was i could build it up and kind of put pressure on which is a nicer uh, you know situation than when you get when you have the pressure from the others so um it gave me yeah i'm really happy with my run and i think i could i uh yeah i could kind of you know Im increase it through the run and so it hurt a lot it was not an easy day and i i had to really fight hard for the win um but i'm yeah i, I am actually happy with my run performance it was uh it was it ended up being a, an, a phenomenal run for me after a really hard bike yes so when you're coming down Lee Drive and you're going to win for the third time and you're joining, you know, very select company, Paul Nabi Frazier and Chrissy Wellington in terms of winning, you know, eight, you're winning three in a row. Not many people have done that. Any, any thoughts in terms of, it's while you're in the midst of your career, it's always difficult to talk about a legacy. That's something you talk about when you're done, mm -hmm. right? But do you get a sense that you're, you're building a pretty amazing rep, uh, reputation and legacy here um to be honest i haven't really realized that that i mean it's it's so special to be able to win yesterday that was for me it was so such a big thing to just yeah it's a world championship to be able to win that race is means so much and to win it like yesterday was even more special because it was was not yeah it was not um it wasn't easy it didn't <laughs> feel easy at all and um and then yeah of course it's i mean it's amazing to to be able to do it three times in a row i am um, i if you asked me that four years ago i wouldn't have dared to dream about that and um but i still haven't really realized i i just i just i'm just so happy with yesterday's race and um that i everything came came out um came out good in perfectly. the end yeah perfectly yeah so for most people they finish this race they win the ironman world championship put their feet up and go i'm going on vacation but you've still got a little business left. You've got a race in Bahrain next month, and you won in Dubai. You won the 70.3 Worlds in Chattanooga, and if you win in Bahrain for the second time, you will win the Million Dollar Challenge. I think that probably makes you the biggest prize money winner in history. I don't know if anybody else has won as much as you will have if you win next month. What Will you take a little time off before getting ready for uh, for Bahrain yeah I definitely need a little bit of rest after yesterday um, I'm my legs are pretty pretty dead um, so <laughs> yeah I will have a bit of rest um, but of course I will try to keep up my shape and my form till um, the end of November so that's kind of my last race of yeah. the year and yeah I wanna it's a an amazing opportunity of course um, for for me and also for the sport that it's this is possible in triathlon and yes. um, I'm very grateful for that and I um, yeah I hope to show I hope to show my best race this year and maybe in the end of the year of the season so I I still have to I still look forward to race you know I I um, I have I haven't I haven't had a perfect race this year yet so maybe I can make really? it <laughs> the perfect you know where it goes effortless I like at Chattanooga, when you win a 70.3 world championship by over six minutes, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, actually, that's true. Actually, it was quite a good race. That was a good race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, I've had a perfect race. How can you be more perfect than that? That was, that was really, really special. How much t down, will you be on the island for a little bit and then fly home? Yeah, I'll be here till Wednesday, so it's another two, two days, and that will be quite easy and quiet, and I hope we can... I don't know, maybe just go to the beach and chill out a bit. That would be nice. I, uh, I haven't been to the beach, actually, t since I'm here. Or even in Maui, we, we, went, we went once, like, for 20 minutes nice. to the beach. So, yeah, we got, there's some nice beaches here. There are some and, nice um, beaches. And then, yeah, I'll go home for a few weeks. Um, be nice to be home for a little bit. And then I'll have a little camp in Grand Canaria to just build up for, for, for Bahrain. Yeah. And now, you like chocolate? Yes, I do. Did you see that yesterday? I see that you <laughs> like chocolate because uh, the folks here at Four Seasons Hualalai have something very special for you that's all chocolate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Wow. Is that all chocolate? That's all chocolate. That's unreal. Except for the wood part I think that's here. one Except of the, the bark That's thing. one of the best presents I've ever got. Is that the coolest <laughs> yeah, thing awesome. of all time? 
Wow, that's amazing. Thanks so much. So how can I eat this? I don't want to eat that. So you just <laughs> bite in there. Like, <laughs> wow. Austin, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the three-time Ironman world champion, 2017 world champion, Daniela Reef, and her chocolate surprise, courtesy of Four Seasons Wildlife. I want to thank all of our sponsors this week. EAS, Myoplex, Polar, Hoka, One, One, Velo, Fix, Norman Tech, of course, Four Seasons Wildlife, Amy O, Power Breather. I want to thank John Geffrem, Jamie Monroe, Heidi Jansen, and our main man, Pancho Man. It's Aloha Sunday. We'll see you next year. Woo! It's breakfast with Bob and Daniela. And her beautiful chocolate cake. Nice. Yo! How cool is that? That's amazing.